What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know that we have a new double pointed update. And as you can see right there on the more info tab, this is macOS Sequoia 15.3.2. This update for me comes in at a pretty relatively small update size and you can see right there this is at 1.45 gigs and I was updating from macOS 15.3.1. Now before I update to this I would like to show you some other updates that Apple released alongside this just to keep you in the loop. You can see we got device support for macOS 15.4 beta for virtual machine and we got iOS 18.3.2, iPadOS 18.3.2, we have macOS 15.3.2 vision os 2.3.2 and unfortunately when it comes to watch os we didn't get watch os 11.3.2 the only one that we have is this one that was released on february 10th so most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if you want to keep up to date then definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out now what i'm gonna do is update my mac software to this new update and then we're gonna look at the new changes that this software has to offer. Just like that my device has now been updated to macOS 15.3.2 and if we go into the system settings go to storage right there you can see how much I have and all the way down you can see macOS storage is actually taking 20.01 gigs which is about pretty much average for me and if I click on, on the more info tab you can see the new build number for macOS 15.3.2 and it's build number 24D81. Pretty good and you can see this update unlike macOS 15.4 still shows the storage being occupied by the Apple intelligence model and right now you can see this is natively on my hard drive and you can see this is 5.26 gigs. macOS users are always looking for the best tools to boost their productivity and one such tool that a lot of them use is Office 2021 for home and business and what's even better today is that I've got a deal you definitely don't want to miss that provides you up to 62% off MS Office 2021 exclusively through KissFan. This is a one-time purchase with no reoccurring payments or fees and it includes classic apps such as Excel, Word, PowerPoint and Outlook fully optimized for macOS with features like retina display support and spotlight search and the best part is you can use it offline anyway. You can grab this amazing deal on KissFan where they offer genuine OEM software at unbeatable prices with 24-7 customer support. Buying is really simple just click the link in the description and then add Office 21 to your cart just like this. This is the price without using my exclusive discount code so you can click the drop down menu right there and then use the coupon code half 62 and click apply and now you can see the total price has been slashed by 62% and this is the price after the discount right there next step just proceed to checkout input your information including your email address and click continue and now you can see here you have the ability to choose a payment method where you can choose paypal or credit card via pp so if you are looking for office or other softwares alike for mac or windows check the links in the description of this video remember half 62 for 62 percent off for mac and for windows i didn't forget about you use half 50 for 50 percent off and shout out to kiss fan for sponsoring during this segment of the video. Now let's talk about the new features and changes that this new software update has to offer. As you know with double pointed updates there isn't a lot of new features but they do sometimes implement minor changes including security updates but one of the new changes which is more on an annoying side or a bad change is the fact that after you update from macOS 15.3.1 to this new update if you had previously disabled Apple intelligence on your settings preferences and you update it's by default going to re-enable Apple intelligence for you which a lot of users are actually finding annoying since Apple intelligence that Apple has to offer doesn't seem to be that good or that practical at least for many people's experiences after you update and you want to turn off Apple intelligence you can always go into the settings and go to Apple intelligence and Siri and here there's a toggle that you can turn it off right there and 
it will again ask you if you want to turn it off and now you can say turn off apple intelligence and it will be turned off like this and if you had it this way and then you'll be able to do that but keep in mind that yes your siri will revert to the default old version the thing about apple intelligence here is the fact that this is not the first time that apple has actually done this this is the second time that they are re-enabling apple intelligence for users that had previously turned it off and it feels like it's a failed marketing campaign that's now being forced uh, forced on like Mac OS users to make it not look too bad. And at the same time, for me, I previously had Apple intelligence on because I want to test these features. But you can see after I updated, there was, there was this download process where it had to re-download some Apple intelligence models. And this is something that you might see once you update your device. According to the release notes of Mac OS 15.3.2, it says that this update it includes important bug and security updates and is recommended for all users. I wish Apple would tell us what those bugs that this update fixes were. One of the reasons why you should update your Mac to this version, I just want to show you quickly here. If we go to about Safari just to show you the version, you can see the version is 18.3.1 and that's the corresponding build number. So 18.3.1 and if we go to the Apple security releases, this is a publicly available page that anyone can visit you can see here that the safari version is actually highlighted as 18.3.1 and for some reason i'm on mac os sequoia but it says that this is only for mac os ventura and mac os sonoma so probably they forgot about it but something i wanted to show you is what it has to fix when it comes to webkit and you can see this bug that's highlighted here when it comes to Safari 18.3.1 released today, you can see it corresponds to that which was actually highlighted in iOS and alongside the macOS. So for the security CVE entry for macOS 15.3.2, you can see right there, it's the same WebKit vulnerability that was actually exploited and um, this is a supplementary fix for an attack that was blocked in iOS 17.2 and the corresponding mac os update that went with that i believe was mac os 14.2 so the initial bug or cve was patched during the mac os 14.2 but then the apple saw that there's a need to issue a supplementary update for this webkit vulnerability and so you can see that that's why a lot of people are updating to it is because of this security reason and you can see that this actually was by apple themselves so it's not like someone found it and alerted apple apple just saw that hey there's a need to do this on their end and they simply just updated it now i mentioned uh, a little bit something about apple intelligence which is image playground that's here so i did try and generate a couple other prompt and edit some of my existing ones and if you're looking for a big change Change. it's not here apple intelligence and the image playground here doesn't seem to be more intelligent it's pretty much the same as what was there on the previous version if you are a person that uses messages once you open messages for the first time you're going to see a new pop-up screen and if you had an issue where your messages would show up blank and your stickers that you have in the messages right here wouldn't really load then that issue at least has been patched for me and it should be a thing of the past right now unfortunately when it comes to this update there is no high performance mode or high power mode when it comes to the mac studio which is a feature or an option that some of the m4 macbook pros actually have the higher end m4 macbook pros so if you have the mac studio and you are looking forward to that feature it's currently not there something i want to highlight is the fact that i actually had a little bit of an issue trying to fetch this update i updated my mac a couple hours after the update came out itself but it took a couple minutes for me to be able to fetch the update but once it did the download process was really good and the preparation time didn't take the minutes that it said it would it probably took if i had to guesstimate about 10 minutes to be average right there and then um something that i wanted to let you know of if you are waiting for the next version of mac os and you are anticipating maybe 15.3.3 that's really the case it, we really see 
three double pointed updates but what's the case or what might be the new update coming up soon you can see you know today being uh march 11 the next update is macOS 15.4 which is currently in beta beta 3 was just released yesterday and beta 4 is going to be released on the 17th probably beta 5 on the 24th and rc on the 30th and we might actually see the official release of macOS 15.4 come out to the public and to everyone on this april 7th date that's my quick take right there and that update will have kind of an, a few new features it's gonna have new emojis and messages that you can take few minor improvements to apple intelligence and it's gonna enable Apple intelligence to more countries and regions so if you're looking forward to it then definitely do hit like and subscribe here so that you stay updated when it comes out but other than that that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video